that uh, it was blocking your face. Blocking my ugly mug. Yep. Did you hear that all? She said blocking my ugly face. <laughs> so, I just bought this rice knife. Never used it before, just opened it up. Um, got this from Permapasture Farms website. I will leave a link below for this. If they have any. I don't know what collar that one was. They got a bunch of different collars. Um, not that it matters at all. Still the same knife. So we're going to take our corn down. This is our Jimmy Red corn that we got last year. And we'll take it down. It's for grain. We're going to eat, grind it up either for chicken feed or for cornmeal. Probably make cornmeal hopefully out of it. Um, but anyhow, I'm going to try to cut it down with this rice knife. Normally I cut corn stalks down with a machete. But I've never tried it with this before. But I like this here is pretty nice. It's lightweight. Hopefully it works good, so we'll see. Nice and smooth. It cut it okay. Machete's definitely faster. It did cut it alright, too. This corn is so tall in the garden, we almost got to have to cut it down to get, get the cobs off of it. We'll get the cobs off after we get it all out, out and in the driveway. I'm going to get my machete this year. It's going to take longer with this. It's nice and sharp and cut a good cut. But I, I like the swing saw. This year worked good for comfrey and a lot of other stuff. But for that, it's not that serrated blade. Well, if that blade wasn't serrated like it is, I don't know if you can see that or not. It would work better to cut corn stalks down with. But a machete, I know, works good. I'm going to put this away and grab it. And he's back, machete and all. This I know what you talk down with. All right, we got it all took out of the garden. It's all cut down, as you've seen. There's no more left over there. Um, so right now we're just going to go through and pick the cobs off and throw in the wheelbarrow. And what's not the stalks, I'm just going to chop them up where they lay and just use them over there in the garden bed as uh, mulch for the winter. That's all I'm going to put in. I'm not going to probably ain't gonna put no cover crop seeds in that bed just put that back down with mulch let it rot up where it is but right now we're gonna go through and put the corn off bigger ears like this ears like this will keep um it didn't get the best 
germ or best pollination, but it did all right, all with that end. Everything but on the end was pollinated. Um, I don't know if you can see that or not, but when the corn's mature, when this corn here is mature, it'll have a dent in it. You can see them dents. That's where the dent corn comes from, so. That's why they call it dent corn. It's for green. Sweet corn will do that too if you let it get mature enough. But this, that's what this is for. So once we get all these pulled, we'll pull all the husk off, let them dry out, these bigger ones. These bigger ones we'll use for, for grain. These smaller ones. These little ones like this probably don't, might have a little bit of corn on them, but there probably ain't a whole lot of kernels on it. There is no kernels on this. So that there will just go straight to the chickens right there the way it is. They can do what they want with it. We're just going to go through and clean that up. So we got all the corn picked it's in that wheelbarrow. We got some small stuff in this too. There ain't a whole lot of smalls. There ain't too many small ears. Um, those will go to the chickens right away. Um, those will dry out. My uh, battery's almost dead. I put covers, I uh, put mulch in. Oops, let me, let me take you off the tripod. I put mulch in the garden bed. I chopped it with my machete and put it in the garden bed. Um, the main reason you want to do that, you want to cover it with something. Normally I cover it with tarp. This year I'm not going to do that. I've got cover crops in everything. And then this bed here, I just chopped and dropped. And the reason you want something covering your, because in the snow, when it snows or rains or or whatever like that it'll it'll actually compact your soil and i don't till so i need to keep it as loose as possible so i need to keep a root or keep it covered or a root or something in there so the snow and rain this winter don't compact it real bad so i'm going to take that pile i don't need the rest of this don't need the rest of these stalks for in there from from for mulch in that garden so i'm just going to take them and Lay them up there on that on that black right there, so they dry out a little bit better. And I'll chop them up and use them for uh, mulch for maybe walkways or maybe just feed them to the chickens or something like that. I'm not real sure what I'll do with them yet, but I'll do something with them. But I'll chop them up before I use them. So I uh, I'll do that, and I'll show you how I how, how I'm going to try to dry these. Huh? I'm not real sure how I'm going to do it yet. I know I'm going to husk them first, but. I'd like them to have been on the stalks or you know dried longer out here in the in the garden but it's kind of hard whenever the wind blowed half of them over and they weren't drying out right quick so i don't know most of them was wind blown it was a pain in the butt trying to cut them down but i did finally get them i'm gonna work on moving those for now and then i will show you how we dry them or how we're going to try to dry them
Alrighty, I'm just going to um, shuck these. Like everybody knows how to shuck an ear corn. Or I'd hope they do. If they don't by now, they need to get out of city life and move to the country. So I'll shuck it just like regular corn, I'll, you know what I mean? I'll just shuck it. And that's pretty good look corn, it's dented pretty good. So it's all, it's definitely mature. So I could save this for, for uh, seed and I probably will save some of these for seed. Um, I don't know how many, but I'll get the nicest ears and I'll save them. Then I'm just gonna, um, let me spin you around and point down. I'm just gonna stick these in here and do these just like just like we did our uh, onions. I'll put them in there and I'll stack the trays up, stack the trays up, and then I'll put the fan on and blow down through. They're still pretty moist. There's still a lot of moisture in them. They they was they're pretty firm, but they're still moist. They'll they would still rot fairly easy on me. Um I'm gonna turn the camera off because the battery's almost dead. I'm gonna shuck these, start shucking some of these, um, and I'll come back to it here after a bit. Alright, we finally got all the corn shucked. We filled that up once and I took it out to the chickens and dumped it in their composting area. Um, we got, I don't know how many ears for sure. From here down, the top one don't have none in. You can see there what we got. It's actually pretty good looking corn. Very. Most of it. Some of, some of the ears was garbage. But, I mean, you'll have that. And then the same in this, from here down, this and here's not. Hang on, let me turn that off. Sorry about that, the exhaust van just kicked on. This one here is not quite full, but almost. And the ears, they don't look too bad. Most of them. There's some scrawny ears. There's some. Small. Some smalls. But for the most part, more than knots like that. I mean, that's a nice ear corn. Very. Oh my gosh. That's a nice ear. You know, I mean, that's. The top tray we just put on. This one here, yeah. This is just on there to keep the well. Hopefully, to try to keep the critters out. They can still crawl through them holes. But at least the but, birds. But the birds can't get in. But the mice and the chipmunks, mice could probably. I don't know about chipmunks. But the birds won't. Well, they'll be able to peck at it some. That, that corn's pretty hard, so I don't know that they would actually peck at it. Um, birds that is. Chipmunks and mice would definitely go at it. But anyways, that's going to wrap this up. We're going to, I don't know when, we'll only grind, we'll only grind it as we need it. We won't grind it all at one time because it loses a lot of nutrients when, grind, when you grind corn into cornmeal. So um, we need to get a grinder yet. We don't even got one, but we'll get one somewhere. And um, somehow, somehow. Nothing else I'll make her grind it with that bowl thing we got with the stone. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> um, yeah, no, no, no is right. We'll dress him up as a Stone Age person and uh, let him do that. Bunga, bunga. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll make a fair bit of cornmeal, even if we don't like, say, even if we don't like the cornbread and mu muffins and whatnot, we get out of the chickens. The chickens will eat it. So it's, regardless, it's, it's food for either for us or for our animals. So either way. Either way, it's a win-win, and we got the seats last year at the Homesteaders of America Conference. They didn't have corn this year down there. Um, well, not this kind of corn. Haas didn't have any seeds, but uh, seeds for generations had seeds, and we bought some. We didn't buy any corn off of them. I'll probably wait till Haas gets theirs out. That lady down there said they they had one that was supposedly they was going to come out at, whenever the new seeds come out in November from next year that um it's supposed to be similar to this but better better uh it's supposed to be better corn than what the jimmy red is so we'll see i don't want something that grows as tall as that that stuff grew so tall last year the wind blowed it over towards the end of the season it was a pain in the butt to harvest it today so and we i would like to have left it on longer but it, it blew over so the pain in the rear end but anyways let's going to wrap this up i know i ramble too much but it is what it is deal with it the rambling man. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> um, anyhow, take care and God bless.